Good morning, y'all. So it is currently a Saturday, um, and I'm just gonna vlog a little bit. Um, I think this is gonna be kind of like a week in my life kind of situation. My life is really not that exciting, but I do have a few things coming up that I wanted to vlog, and I figured I would just roll it into one. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's Saturday. <clears throat> I just went and got some coffee, as you can see. I'm sitting outside Dunkin' Donuts right now. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get my nails done really fast because they're disgusting. They need it so badly. Um, so I'm gonna go get my nails done and then I need to run a few errands around town. Um, and then, yeah. It's just gonna be kind of a chill errands day. It's like cloudy but sunny. I don't know, I can't really tell. Um, so yeah, a good day to do errands and all that jazz and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So, welcome back to another vlog. So I just got home from the store and running all my errands and everything. Please do not look at my house in the background. It is a disgusting mess, as am I. Um, I ended up going to TJ Maxx. Well first, I got my nails done. Oh my God, let me, let me, why is this not focusing? Can you focus? Focus? All right, I'll have to show you a different way. Um, I got my nails done, then I went to Ulta, then I went to TJ Maxx, then I went to Walmart in the grocery store, then I picked up mail, and now I'm at home. It's like one o'clock. I'm so, actually, it's like two o'clock. It's like two o'clock, right? What time is it? I don't know. Ugh, I'm stressed. Okay, yeah, so it's like two o'clock now, so I'm super glad that I went early because it was so freaking crowded and overwhelming. So I was able to just like in and out, get shit done really, really quickly um, and just be done with it because people were getting a little bit crazy out and about but I thought I would just show you guys quickly what I got at the store um because I got some like fun things and then um yeah I need to pack up the car I'm actually going to a friend's house for dinner we're just gonna have a little girls night um so yeah I need to find my tripod give me one second okay so I don't know where oh hello hello baby girl so I don't know where in the heck my tripod is right now like I said huge mess Total disaster, really struggling here, but this is just, you know, everyday life, it's fine. I went to TJ Maxx, um, I just got um, some of these doggy treats. These are the Himalayan Chew Happy Teeth. They're basically like super, super like hard dog treats that my dogs devour in like 30 seconds. But they're really good for their teeth. It's like basically hard dried cheese if you're looking for a nice dog treat. And I, you can get them at Petco and stuff, but they're like $20 for like this thing. This is $3.99 at TJ Maxx. So just check the ingredients. That's the only thing I would definitely recommend when you're getting like discounted treats. Just look at the ingredients. Um, and then I'm actually going to a baby shower tomorrow. So I got some baby stuff. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know anything about kids. I don't know anything about babies. The only babies I know are furry with four legs. So um, I just got two books, which I think are really, really cute. And then I also got these Ray Dunn bibs. Um, I just think they're really cute. I mean, I like Ray Dunn stuff. I'm not like obsessed like everybody else is, but I think they're cute. One of them says hangry, the other one says but first milk, and then the third one says sleepy head. So yeah, just like a really cute three pack. And then, like I said, I did stop at Ulta. I didn't really like need anything, but I really wanted to just browse. Um, I got a gift card for Christmas, so you know it was burning a hole in my pocket. Um, the first thing I got was this Matrix Cooling Mint Scalp Sink Shampoo. And this is for oily hair and scalp. This is gonna sound disgusting and be like way too much TMI, but I have the greasiest, oiliest, most disgusting hair. This is what my hair looks like and I washed it on Thursday. Thursday and it's Saturday. Like, it sucks, it's so. So I'm gonna try this instead of like a clarifying shampoo because I find clarifying shampoos can really like dry out my hair. So I'm gonna see if this works as like, it's supposed to be really good at like balancing your scalp. I did get another Morphe um, continuous setting mist. I was out of mine, so I had to get that guy. And then I just got a few things because I wanna do another first impressions video. Um, and these are things that I've just like been intrigued about. Um, so I'm not gonna go into full detail because I'm gonna do a video on them. Um, but I basically got, I got a Kylie blush. I 
hate Kylie Cosmetics, but I want to try it. Um, and then I got the Sugar Rush Highlight Palette from Tarte. This is the Fresh and Frosted. I have never tried anything from this like line of theirs before, so I'm really excited. And then I got this Real Technique sponge, which is different than their normal sponge, but I want to wait to the video to test it out. And then I got this KKW Beauty lipstick. And if you've been watching my videos, last year I was obsessed with the concealer and the brightening powder. So I figured I should try a few more things from her and like the packaging is just so freaking good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, I need to leave in like an hour and a half. So I need to go pack an overnight bag because I think I'm gonna spend the night there. And I need to pack the doggies an overnight bag. Right, you wanna go see Mira? You wanna go see? Yeah, you wanna go see? You go see? You go see? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get the show on the road. I'm very caffeinated, if you can't tell. Like super, super hyper today. So, oh my God. By the way, these are my nails. This is how they came out. I'm so freaking obsessed with them. I have acrylics and then I just got them like an almond shape and I think the color I have is OPI, put it in neutral, but the gel. And then I just had her do like these fun little black dots. I think they came out so good. Also, I wanna show you guys my shoes so you can get like an idea of my outfit for today. Um, these leggings are Lululemon, the camo cheetah print-ish things. And then these sneakers I'm so obsessed with. They're like taupe, white, black, neon coral, and like red. Um, these are actually men's sneakers, but I really am into like the chunky dad sneaker vibe. Do you like them, Bindi? Do you like them? Oh, hello. You got big ears. You're so cute. You're a cute girl. You got Mitch. Hey, you guys. So it's been a few days since I have checked in with you all. Um, it's just been a little bit busy and a little bit crazy around here lately. Um, also, don't mind. I self-tanned my body, but not my face. You know the drill. Um, but basically, this is kind of the whole reason for the vlog. Um, today, I'm really excited. I'm sitting in my dining room. It looks like I'm just like in a white room, but there's stuff on the wall in this room. I promise it's just like up higher. I'm sitting pretty low. I have a meeting this afternoon in about an hour with our wedding venue and I'm very excited. So this meeting this afternoon is with our day of coordinator um, at the venue. Our venue that we are using for our ceremony and reception actually requires us to have a planner, um, but we opted for the least amount of help. Um, so they had like a day of coordinator, you could have like up to a certain amount or you could have the whole process, like different levels of help. And we basically just selected the day of coordination. Um, so, don't get it twisted. I've literally done this entire thing by myself. I've planned the entire wedding. Like it's completely all us. Um, this is basically just a little bit of a handoff. I'm just gathering a list of vendors and stuff like that to give to our planner. So that way the day of she can coordinate the timeline for us. That's essentially all she's really doing. And right now I just have my laptop here. We're actually gonna do a Skype meeting. Um, but I'm just putting together a quick list of all of my questions that I have for her and things that are really important to me that we haven't had the opportunity to discuss yet. And then also get her a list of all my vendors and contacts so that way she can get in touch with them and start coordinating timelines. Asking you a bunch of questions today that you might not know the answer to, you might also know them. Okay. Um, if you do, awesome. Uh, if you don't, it's okay. <laughs> and, and I will move past that detail. I'm gonna highlight it. Um, Eventually, so by, by the end of the week or so, um, I should be able to get you this document. Essentially, everything that is highlighted in yellow um, is going to be, you can kind of think of as like a homework item. Okay. So it's something that you can either, um, you know, uh, email me about if you like, if it's a song choice and you guys, and you decide on one and you want to just get, get that over to me. A lot of people will do that. They'll just send me details okay. as we go. And then I will fill, fill that in on the timeline, send you an updated version right away. Perfect. 
So, so yeah, that's what we're mostly going to be working on today. And then I'll just touch on a few other things to get a jump start on like layout of the room and all those sorts of things. Okay. So I just got home from doing a client's makeup. Um, and I came home to the most ridiculous amount of mail. I have an online shopping problem, <laughs> um, but I do have some like wedding related packages as well, which I'm really excited about. So yeah, I just figured that I would show you guys what I got in the mail. <laughs> this is currently what we're working with. It's a mess, like I said. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start opening things, I guess. Um, and then breaking down all this mail. Oh, this, come on. So this is just a new attachment for my T3 um, for, I actually got this for the wedding, um, so it's kind of wedding related. Um, because I'm going to be wearing extensions, I'm gonna have a little bit longer hair, I need kind of a, well I don't need, but I like the look of a bigger barrel. Um, so right now I have the one inch and this is the one and a quarter inch. Um, so this will just go on my convertible base. Um, and then this came from Etsy and this is wedding related for sure, for sure. Um, so I just purchased some basically like iron on decals, um, which you're probably not going to really be able to see, but these are like iron-on script decals and they say babe. So I got these for bridesmaids totes, I think, to just do like an iron-on because I'm gonna do a little tote for each one, like one tote for each of the girls. Um, so that way they can bring it with them to the venue, put a pair of flats or anything like that in there, like touch up, a hairbrush, lash glue, like whatever they need to bring, phone, keys, wallet, so they'll have like a cute little tote. So I got some iron-on decals for that. I do have seven bridesmaids, so trying to coordinate stuff for seven bridesmaids and then two moms. It can be a little bit expensive doing gifts and stuff, so I'm just trying to figure out a way to do this affordably. Um, and then for another bridesmaid type gift or thing, I bought a huge box of these flip flops. And this is one of the things that's gonna go in the tote bag. Um, I'm planning on giving them the tote bag like during rehearsal dinner the night before. And then this tote bag will have like, I bought their jewelry so it'll have like their jewelry and then it's gonna have like their robe or whatever we decide to get ready in. And then it's gonna have these flip flops so they can get ready in these flip flops so we'll all match. And then they can also put these in their tote, like I said, to bring a pair of flats to the venue so that they can change out of their heels if that's something they wanna do. So basically I just got a bajillion and one pairs of flip flops. I got everybody's size and these are literally $3 on Old Navy, super affordable, super easy, and they look really pretty. I mean, this is like the goldy bronze color, so you just like can't go wrong. Um, so I did that for all the bridesmaids and for the moms as well. Now I'm gonna go clean up all my trash because I made a huge mess. But yeah, that's pretty much um, all the mail that I got. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Y'all, I didn't even tell you I had to, so yesterday after the meeting, oh my God, I didn't even tell you guys. Yesterday after the meeting, well, first of all, the meeting was about an hour and a half. It was super, super helpful, but I am a little bit overwhelmed now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit stressed out because I have so much to think about. And we have, she said we're in a very, very good space. Like we're in awesome shape, like super organized or in a really good place in our timeline. We're like, a little bit ahead actually um but there's a lot of little things that i didn't even like comprehend that i need to get done and take care of so <sighs> i'm stressed it's i'm <sighs> the anxiety's kicking in a little bit i had a really hard time falling asleep last night because my mind was just like going and going and going thinking about all the things that she was asking me a ton of questions about and i mean it was great but I'm just a little overwhelmed right now. So I am currently upstairs in one of our guest bedrooms. That's why it's a little bit echoey because it's kind of empty in here. Um, but I thought that I would just tell you guys about the stupid mistake I made. So what I was saying, you know how there's nothing in here for you. There's nothing in here for you. By the way, 
if any of my bridesmaids are watching, turn it off now because just because these are gifts for you guys. Um, so what I was saying, oh my God, I am so out of breath. Get it together. I bought those decals and stuff to make tote bags, but I ordered these so long ago. I already have tote bags. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Bubs, not for you. Back up. So I have... These cute little tote bags I already ordered. Like this one says Mother of the Bride, obviously for my mom. And then I have one for my mother-in-law that says Mother of the Groom. And then I have, look, everybody's names on them. They're so cute. So these are gonna be what I put everything in for like getting ready, their jewelry, all that kind of stuff. So whatever I told you guys about that white decal thing that I opened yesterday on camera, no, that's not what those are for. I can't even remember what I ordered. That's why I came up here because I got all this stuff laid out. This is all of our wedding stuff. And that's why I did this because I don't even, like, I need to see what I have because I don't even, I don't even know. And I got myself one too. Um, but yeah, I literally don't even know what I have. So I figured that I would just show you guys while I go through it so that way you guys can see kind of what I've been collecting and where I'm at because I have some really, really cute stuff. All right, so this is kind of the mess that we're working with right now. So what's in here is actually what is for the decals, but I'm not gonna talk about that because I want it to be a surprise. Um, and then here's the decals, so that just goes together. Here are the gold flip-flops that I opened on camera already in front of you guys. These are gonna go in the bags. Then, so this big thing right here is actually our cake stand. And the reason why I have a cake stand already, I'm not renting it, is because I'm reusing this from my sister's wedding. They just never returned it and it's really, really pretty and kind of matches our style. I am going to spray paint it gold though. So we already have that. Then over here, this is kind of my pile. Um, I have my shoes here, which I'm not gonna show you guys cause I want it to be a surprise. And then I got these on my bachelorette party. How cute are these? I got these from a gift as a gift from one of my friends. So I'm gonna wear those day of. And then this is like my veil and an old hairpin that I thought I wanted to use, but I don't actually wanna use anymore. And then this is where my actual hairpin and jewelry is in. Then, like I said, these are the tote bags. Then in here we have the bridesmaids jewelry. Actually, I can show you guys that. I just went ahead and purchased the earrings for the girls. We're doing super simple. So basically it's just a loop with like a white crystal hanging off. They're really pretty, really simple. I got them off Etsy. They were pretty affordable, um, but yeah, I love them. I think they're really pretty. So that will, of course, also go in their tote bags. And then, really weird, which I'm like on top of right now, I have a white bag of gloves because we are doing kind of like a military-ish wedding. We need white gloves for the saber arch and for ushers. So I have that ready to go. And then I have some cute signs over here that I've just been collecting. Actually, Nick's mom got these all for me. I think they're really cute. I love them. And I have a few more downstairs, but we actually use them in our house decor. So... I'm not gonna bring them up here right now, but I will when we're ready. I don't know where these are gonna go yet or what we're gonna do with them, but I think they're super cute and I just laid them out here so that way we have them. Do you like them? Is it nice? And I really like these too because again, they'll match our home decor when we're all done with it. I didn't wanna be left with a ton of stuff that I'm like, shoot, what do I do with all of this now? So that's pretty much what we're working with right now. Like I said, I do have, excuse me, hey. I do still have a few things I need to get, such as like the ring box, a cake topper, all that kind of stuff. And I do have some other things, but like I said, I don't wanna show everybody everything because I do want some things to be a little bit of a surprise, the element of surprise. So I don't wanna like divulge all of it, but these are just like little things that I'm doing. Um, this is like the fun stuff. I'm not showing you guys any of the boring things like actually writing checks and stuff like that, which is painful, let me tell you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, kind of a mess, kind of all over the place, but just getting back into wedding planning and showing you guys all of that exciting stuff. I'm gonna clean up this mess, try and arrange this, organize it a little bit better so that way it's not just like hanging out there. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my God, these dogs are losing their minds. Can you not tear up my nice carpet, please? Hey, stop! 
You guys are crazy. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all, that's it for me. I'm gonna go take these psychos on a walk into the park, so I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms